Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge and welcome to my September reading plans, okay? I know, I always film this a little bit early, but I do that to let people know who are in book clubs with me and also who like to read some of the same books that I'm reading. Also, I try to talk about the arcs and upcoming books for the month so that you can know what's like on my radar and everything you know, in case you want to pre-order anything, that's always fun as well. So let's dive right in. We have quite a few books to talk about. Um, although again, I do have quite a bit of a subjective TBR because I want to mood read as much as possible. Lately, the amount of arcs and things I've been committed to have been a little overwhelming. Also in September, I'll be going to my first um, book signing event in San Antonio. Um, I hope to see some of you there. I know some of my friends are meeting me there and I'm very excited to maybe meet some of you for sure. See some friends I have and some authors I love. So I don't want to over stress myself with other things. So besides a few, like even some of these books that I have as arcs and new releases, I'll tell you if it's an arc that I'm already like committed to because I have the arc or if it's one that I'm just like really wanting to read because some of them I might push them off to later months. I don't know. I want to give myself some more mood reading space because it's been tough. But first, let's start off with the two books that are in my book clubs and um, read along. So of course, we have my read along for SJM along. It is going to be A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, so excited to read this. This is my beautiful cover from the um, Dusty Shop. Here's the beautiful back. There's the three ships, the Nesta, the Feyre, and the Elaine. It's so beautiful. There's the Cauldron. Um, these are gorgeous, but a little bit sad. We have fully caught up to the graphic audios um, schedule. Now, I know, I'm kind of sad. I wish I could push this book back, but my read along has been set up the way it's been set up for a long time before we even knew about the graphic audios, but there's only going to be two parts of the graphic audio out by the time we're going to do our live show. So unfortunately you'll be able to listen to two thirds of this on graphic audio, and then you might need to switch to the regular one or else read it by hand. But I tried, I wish they were coming out faster because I've really loved the graphic audios as well. And I will definitely be listening to those, but I think we've reached the point in our tale where we're going to be ahead of them now, which is kind of sad, but they were really great. So anyway, we're going to be going back to Akatar and reading Wings and Ruin. I think there will also be some great pieces in this that are setting up future things because there's a lot of stuff to do with creatures from other realms in this one. So very intrigued by that. Then my other book club I have is with my lovely big sis in the book realm, Crystal's Bookish Life, and we are going to be reading Surrender by Amanda Quick. We're actually going to have a special guest whose name is Justin. He's been a part of our book club pretty much since the beginning, and I'm very excited to get a chat with him about a book. This will be my first Amanda Quick. I've had some of her books on TBRs before, but I've never even like tried to read them. It just hasn't happened, but... Yeah, this one seems very interesting. I have more about it on my um, Instagram, but the live show for this one will be Wednesday the 21st at 8 p.m. We're pushing that, like we're pretty much going to be doing book clubs on Wednesdays now because it's better for Crystal. The boys are out of the house and so it's easier for her to, to be on with us. But it gives you an extra week as well because the week we were going to do it, I will be in San Antonio. So it's going to feel really stressed. But anyway, we're going to be reading this one. And this one, I guess, is kind of like um, getting tricked into a marriage and there's like a mystery happening and everything. But that's a bird of paradise on the front. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, this will be my first one. So intrigued to give this one a go. All right. Now we're going to go through the arcs and new releases. And like I said, I will tell you um, if it's one I'm reading for sure or if it's one I just want to read, okay? So we have Force of Nature by Sky Warren and Amelia Wilde. I will for sure be reading this one. I read the little prequel to this, which is actually necessary to the book, but my guess is they'll probably put the prequel into this second book, like a lot of books they've done for this series. 
I'm excited for this one because it's going to be an MFM. I don't think there will be any sword crossing happening, but it's like a Tarzan situation. And I'm, I was pretty intrigued by the first part. So that's why I am going to read this one. I'm trying to get back into the Midnight Dynasty, but they just do so many duets and trilogies and it annoys me. Like just tell your book in one story. Okay. Um, there is Death Adder by Naomi Lucas. This was supposed to come in August and it got pushed a week into September, which is totally fine. Um, I was busy enough as it is, but Death Adder will be the fourth book in her Naga Bride series. I believe this is starting the second arc of the story for her. And Death Adder, I'm very interested to read this snake alien's tale for sure. Cruelly Bitten by Lexi C. Foss. This is coming out on the 22nd. Um, I won't have an arc for this one, but I will try to read this as soon as it comes out. This is the last book in the Blood Alliance, and it's going to be about Cam and his mate, who, if you've been reading this series, ugh, it's going to be good. I'm scared. Lexi has me scared, but I'm ready to see it. Then we'll have Seraph by Lily Maine. This will be book six in the Monster series. I'm, of course, cannot wait for another book. I missed signing up for the arc of this one. I, by the time I saw the notice on Lily's Facebook, it had said, please sign up right away, and I missed it. But again, that's okay. This comes out on September 6th, and I'm a little scared because I saw a picture that someone did of Seraph, and he's definitely the most monstrous of them. But... I trust her. She's made it work for me all the way through. I will try this book, okay? I will, but I'm nervous. Then we will have Captured by a Sinner by Michelle Hurd. This one is finally supposed to be Victor's book. This will be book five in the series. I did sign up for the arc of this one. I haven't been told if I was approved or not, but I remembered to sign up this time. <laughs> the cover reveal for this one should be pretty soon too. This one comes out on the 12th. Then, um, I hope you've noticed I'm not going in order of when they release, but the order in which I happen to write them down. <laughs> um, Losers by Harley LaRue. This one doesn't come out till the 30th. I will be getting this because I made it onto Harley's ARC team. Um, I mostly got on her ARC team because I wanted to be on it for the next book in the Souls trilogy. But I actually have read The Dare. And Losers is supposed to be characters who are in the dare and it's going to be in a why choose romance, but there will be sword crossing in this romance. So I'm going to give it a go. I've liked what I've read of Harley so far, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to read the arc for that and we'll see how it goes. Uh, Primal Lust by Willow Winters. This comes out on the 27th. This is book three in her werewolf trilogy she's doing. I've mostly enjoyed the first two. Um, I did sign up for the arc of this one. I also did order, I did participate in her Kickstarter that there's supposed to be these beautiful like clinch covers of this series. Although I do really like the original covers of these two. Um, so yeah, these are slutty, slutty little books and they're quick and I like them. I also on a whim signed up for the arc of Gracie's mom by Misty Walker. This one comes out on the, I think it's the 21st. I think that's what it says. Um, this is going to be a part of like a, like a taboo collaboration with authors. And this one is a riff off of Stacy's mom. So it's a 39 year old mom. And I think it's like an 18 or 20 year old, um, kid. And I'm here for it or young gentleman. I have an arc for Duke's Rules of Engagement by Jennifer Haymore. This one comes out on the 27th. I don't know why I asked for this. I think I shared that when I was asking for some arcs, I didn't really have that many. I had like cleaned up my neck alley, didn't have any more wrecks. And then I asked for a bunch and I started getting approved for all of them. And it's kind of just snowballed until I've been overwhelmed with them. Um, and this one is going to be one that comes out in September. So I literally don't know anything about it. I haven't read any Jennifer Haymore, but I asked for it because I could. <laughs> then there's The Oracle by Serena Ackroyd. This comes out on the 22nd. Um, I'm not as excited for this as I was before. If you saw my review for The Consigliere, I'm not really loving the direction she's going, but by the end of the first one, we were at a good place with this relationship. 
Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to see it through because I really like the hero and the heroine and the BDSM dynamic they have going on. But I'm nervous. Okay, I'm nervous. Then Arcana by Ruinix comes out on the 27th. This one's supposed to be a gothic historical romance. And I believe, totally correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Arcana like, is going to take place in the same area that Gothicana did. But this is historical. Am I correct? Is that what you've heard? That's what I was getting based off of the blur, but I could be wrong. But either way, gothic historical romance, sign me up. I can't wait. But I'm not signed up for an arc of this one because Runix wanted people to be on their arc team overall. And I haven't read their enough of their dark verse books. I've only read a couple of them. So I didn't make it on it. But I will read it when it comes out for sure, these. Nikki the Driver by Kate Wells comes out on the second. I've been trying to get on an arc for this, but I haven't seen her offer one. Um, if I do get on the arc team, I'm sure I'll end up reading this one still in August. But either way, whether I get an arc or I read it on the second, I will be reading this immediately. This is the follow up to uh, Run Posey Run, and it's about Nikki the Driver. And if you've read Run Posey Run, you know who that is. It's kind of a side character in it, but he ends up being crucial to Dario's plan at the end and I'm ready baby I'm ready for more Kate C. Wells she has a couple good ones coming out <sighs> sorry the end of this month and then we will get Tareen by Amara Ray and this comes out on the 25th and I will get an arc of this one and this is the fifth book in the Immortal Coven series, which I have been living for. They've all been winners for me. I've loved them. So I can't wait to read about Cassandra and who her hero is, which I think is a demon, I think, if I remember right. All right, then I have one other arc I want to mention, but I have a little work to do before I get to this arc. So I was reached out to by Golden Angel, who I have done mostly on my TikTok. I have done some unboxings from her. I've also been gifted some books by her before, like I did a 10th anniversary box for her. And also she had sent me a book from my wish list of hers. So she had actually sent me a season for treason and she had signed it. And I hadn't got around to reading it yet, but she puts spanking in hers. Look at how gorgeous though this cover is, like the lighting and it's beautiful. And she again, if you have a TikTok, she wants to hit the New York Times bestsellers list for her fourth book in this series, which the series is called the Deception and Discipline series. It's a spy series. And the fourth book comes out on the 20th and it is called A Season for Spies. Okay. So she reached out to me and asked me if I would like to receive an influencer box for book four. And she also sent me an e-arc ahead of time so that I could review it ahead of time. So I already have the arc for book four. But she asked me if I had books two and three, and I did not. And she was like, could I send you those? And I was like, fuck yes, you can. They're beautiful. So she sent me copies of book two, which is season for scandal, and book three, which is a season for smugglers. Okay, so I have these three books that I want to read. These do all have audiobooks. I've actually had the audio for this one. It's on any play, and I've had it there for ages. Um, I need to dive into it. So my goal is to read these three, which shouldn't be a problem. I mean, they're only each about like 250 in pages um, because they all kind of flow together. So she did actually sign all of these for me as well to Jennifer. Enjoy the steam. What's this one? To Jennifer, enjoy the scandal. So there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try these. I want to love Golden Angels books and I've only read one and I didn't love it, but I think it was just the wrong one for me. That one was called A Duke's Pursuit and it was a novella length one and I just didn't love like how things were happening in that one. But I did, like I said, I received A Season for Treason and then a like bondage one from her. And I love that she does BDSM and toys and she does spanking and stuff in historicals. So I wanna read them. So anyway, this was a sidetrack, but I wanna read these three books, which were on my like 
regular TBR have, and then a season first buys, which comes out on the 20th. I want to get to those. Okay, so those are all of the like arts and upcoming releases I want to read. And now we'll do a quick little detour and I will share with you the books that my patrons picked for me to read. So first up, the patron exclusive read for September, which um, what I do with my patrons, it's for the $7 level and above and my Patreon is always linked down below. I am a creator full time. This pays my bills, puts food in my belly keeps me working out at the gym um, and you guys support me to do that and one of my tiers the seven dollar tier and above once a month they get to pick the book like for the next month for me to read and I read it and I annotate it which I actually just filmed the review for Moonrise and I annotated this one and then I do an exclusive review of the book. So I don't talk about it on my channel at all. It's only for patrons, um, which if you were to sign up, you'll get access to all the previous months that I've done this, which is pretty cool. Um, and the prompt for September, because what I do to kind of help like focus us, because the first couple months I just let people like you could re request anything and it just was kind of chaotic. So each month I pick a trope and then people can recommend. So for August, we just did that for the first time. And this was, I was going to marry your sibling or I was, I was with your sibling. That's what this one was. And then for September, the prompt was just fantasy romance. And so everybody recommended something and then we voted and they chose The High Mountain Court by A.K. Mulford. So this will be the book that I read and annotate and do a special review. Um, and then I actually, the book that I annotate, I raffle it off to the people in my Patreon. So I'm very excited, but I'm nervous. So yeah, I haven't heard a ton about this one, um, but it says for fans of Jennifer L. Armentown and Holly Black, and I don't really read either of them, but this says it's the first book in a thrilling fantasy saga, The Five Crowns of or Okrith. So this one is about a girl named Remy who's 19 years old and she's been fleeing witch hunters and then it says the northern court king has slaughtered her home court and placed a bounty on red witch heads. With four fey warriors, when four fey warriors enter her tavern refuge, Remy tries to flee but her magic isn't strong enough to stop a fey prince on a mission. The handsome prince Hale of of the eastern kingdom wants to stop a war with the northern court before his kingdom befalls the same fate as remy's he needs a red witch and remy may be the only person alive who can help him can she really trust prince hale can her falling court be resurrected from the evil clutches of the northern court king for the chance to save herself her people and help defeat the northern king remy must put her faith in hale and his companions on a dangerous quest to find lost relics so we shall see how this goes so that's gonna be the exclusive book and then i'll just show you the books that my patrons picked for their annotated books so this is my top tier it's very exclusive <laughs> there's only six spaces for this because it's it is a lot of work i have enjoyed it immensely but it is a lot of work to do every month so um, if anyone ever relinquishes a spot, I will absolutely share that, but so far it's remained pretty full. So the books people are picking. So I actually had one picked that I haven't read before, so I'm excited. Um, so far people have all picked books I've read before and they know that I love, which is really fun because I end up getting to reread my favorites. But one of my patrons actually picked Bad Saint by Monica James, which I have definitely seen this book around. So I will be purchasing a copy of this one. Then I get to do A Heart of Blood and Ashes again, um, which is great. I already have this one annotated, so that will be easy peasy. Um, a Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. Um, my patron who picked this one, you unfortunately won't get this copy. This is the UK edition that I had to order and it took a long time to get here, but I will get the new cover um, that Barnes and Noble has because it has good margins to write in. That's something that you wouldn't think about unless you're annotating a book, but a uh, trade paperback, extremely difficult to find space to write in. Won't lie about that. But A Promise of Fire, the first of the Kingmaker Chronicles, this will be a great book to revisit. It's been a long time. 
um, When Heroes Fall by Gianna Darling. In Treat Me by Grace Draven. Love this book. Um, Carnal Urges. Love to visit Daddy Declan again. Can't wait. Um, and those will be all the books that get annotated in September. So that will be fun. Woo! Just knocked it over. Okay. Now into the final into the final category, which is just other possible TBR. So, so far what I've all listed is the books that will be like prioritized and I'm trying to get to. And then I have a stack of some books that I just went through my physical library to pick some. Also books that you guys have recommended me on my book rec form. I try to pick some books from that book rec form every month. And then a couple books that are in my KU library that I wanna get to. So let's go through these. I'm going to start with a couple historicals on my list here. Um, should I just go in order? Let's go in order so I don't get confused. So I'm just going to go in order that I wrote down. So Home and Away by Samantha Whalen. This was gifted to me. Um, did I keep the thing? I mean, I know it's from uh, Esty because she gifted me a bunch of Samantha Whalen. And I really, really loved um, a book by her. So this one is a gay romance. Um, and it's a hockey romance and um it's rupert smythe and callum morrison so this one is, has been on my tbr for a while and you know what i was like i'm feeling some sports romance i have not read a sports romance in a few months so we are going to take on home and away and give this one a go and i just happen to have it in my library and i have i think she gifted me like all the books in this series too so if i love it we'll dive in and we'll read them all. Then um, Something Borrowed by Eve Dangerfield. I've had this in my Kindle for so long. And um, I am going to be filming a, uh, I think it was a pegging playlist. Was it on pegging or was it just on like a female dom? I can't remember. But either way, this one has like a dominant female and a submissive male. Um, and I've had this one because I bought it when it was free one time and it showed up in one of my lists when I was hunting for like pegging wrecks. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to read that because I own it. So I'm going to try to read this one. Then there is, oh, shucks. I didn't grab that one. I was trying to grab all the books because I like them. I want to read Bound by the Earl by Allison Chase. I own all the books in this historical BDSM series and I haven't gotten to them. So this one is a historical BDSM. Then I want to finally continue this series. I bought the rest of these audiobooks when Audible had their series sale and these were each only like $2. Um, and yeah, I just want to continue this series and I'd fallen off of it. Um, partially because I was reading a lot more historicals when I worked in the office because they were always a good book I could have on in the background. They also aren't usually too full of sex, so I don't feel like I'm getting caught doing something all the time. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, you know. Um, so yeah, I want to give want to give this another go. This one is one of the Bedouin books, and this one is about Freya. So this is about one of the sisters and Joshua Moore, the Marquess of Halmere. So um, this one says. He's a man with a hell-raising reputation of his own who is quickly intrigued by the independent beauty. So intrigued that he makes her a surprising request to pose as his fiance and help thwart his family matchmaking scheme. Oh, so fake dating. Cute. Love it. Then there is Our Thing by Nikki Harris. And this one was gifted to me by Samantha Thomas. She actually gifted me um, a couple books in this series, which is really cool. Um, and this one also showed up on one of my lists which I won't say which list it did because I'm not sure but this is the kids of the district series and there's more books coming out in this series all the time um but this one is a young ballerina and a bad boy of the district so I love this cover and I ha don't know if I've read any Nikki Harris but yeah um Samantha gifted this to me and I want to try to read that Oh, I want to wrap up the Mayhem in Mayfair series by Grace Calloway. Um, this one I just bought on my own, but I've read 
the first three books in this series and I know this then spins off into um, another series I don't know if it's written down the hearts of iniquity and I want to read those as well so this one's gorgeous this one is a diamond in the rough um, charity sparkler and prize fighter Paul finds all right and a marriage of convenience cool so excited for that these ones are like all on any play as well then I want to read the oath by Jill Bonder duck I think I read the shield and the thistle this month and well I didn't love it I did have a great time with it um, that was a bit of like it had some like outlander vibes to it this one whereas the first one was like a fantasy historical romance this one is like paranormal and this entire one I believe takes place in the past and the hero's brother from the first one he has agreed to marry this daughter of a witch who is also a witch to keep her safe from persecution so this one's going to be like a marriage because of an oath basically um so yeah i want to read this one the covers are beautiful and again just because i didn't love the first one it was still very charming it just wasn't quite satisfying like how things like wrapped up but it was cool then I want to read another book that was gifted to me by Larissa and now she warned me up and down about this book and this this series is almost a decade old um, but this is an end of the world series and literally the book is called until the end of the world by Sarah Lyons Fleming um, and I think there's zombies yeah there's zombies and then this is like friends to lovers um, and I think it is but Larissa earlier this year actually gifted me the whole series and then she warned me she's like I understand if you don't like it but it's one of my favorites so I wanted to give it to you um, and I do love end of the world books and so I'm going to try reading it um, I it's it's a pretty good size I um, mean she does say it's a very slow burn and it's not extremely like open door but that the romance is really good and I like I said I love survival stuff and I think that will keep me interested, even if it's not like super erotic, but I have the whole series. So if I love this, I can just binge all of it. So yeah, I want to give this a go. So very excited to try it, Larissa. Then uh, Undone by the Ex-Con by Talia Hibbert. This is book two in the Just For Him series. This one was sent to me from Jessica, Peace Love Books. It was on my list. I have like most of Talia Hibbert's books on my um, wish list, which is always down below if you'd like to. And um, they all these ones all I think are um, black woman, white man's books and the heroines are usually curvy. And yeah, this one is an ex-con named Isaac and Lizzie wants Isaac to help keep her brother safe, I think. I don't know, but there's that. Then there is a book by a TikToker that I want to try and I'm hopeful. I'm not going to have like super high expectations for it just because it is her first book, but I've really loved what she's teased about this book because I think it's a female bodyguard. I do know for sure that the man is the one who gets kidnapped when there is a kidnapping, it, like not by the harem, like gets kidnapped and she has to go save him. And I think it's because she's a bodyguard. So it's like a bodyguard romance, I think. But anyway, it's called The Sight of You by Ashley Mack. And I've actually followed Ashley on TikTok for over a year plus now. Um, and yeah, so I want to support her and get it. So I did grab this book. Um, I'm going to give it a go and, and see how we roll. I also have Broken Whispers by Neva Altaj. I read the first one in this uh, last month. It was a quickie. This one is the hero or heroin mute someone has a disability i know that is super vague i'm so sorry i forgot to write it down i think someone's mute is the hero mute i can't remember but ava from ava 
reads romance. Ava, Lo Ava reads romance and Tori both read this from Novel Life. And I, like I said, I read the first one and I enjoyed it. Um, and I want to read this one too. So I have this one checked out. Then I decided I wanted to continue my Tiffany Roberts backlist read. I was planning to do that and then I just fell off of it. But they now have audiobooks out for this entire series. And so I want to read this one. Um, Taken by the Alien Next Door, which I believe is just like it sounds. Um, and there's audiobooks for this series so far. So I want to read this. Then um, I have a freebie that I bought a while ago that I just put on this list and it's The Devil to Pay by Casey Bateman. I don't know a ton about what it is, but I saw that I have this freebie and I was like, ah, I should read this. I like Kate Bateman. I also got Tattered Stars by Katherine Cowles when it was free. So I want to give that one a go because everyone's been going gaga for Katherine Cowles and I want to see if I like her. And then... The last book that I want to try to get to, um, we read this first book for Rake Appreciation Society this month and I really liked it. And there's a character and a relationship that gets set up in that book that I immediately need to know what happens. So I want to read Trial by Desire by Courtney Milan. So this is about Ned Carhart who really kind of mucked it up three years ago when he caused him and Lady Kate to have to have a marriage of convenience. And she's kind of been left to live the life that she wants. Um, but she decides to, um, like they end up in each other's place again. And Ned is determined to regain his wife's trust by using seduction. But just as Kate surrenders to Ned, she her carefully guarded past threatens to destroy her. So in the first book, we know she has some secrets we don't fully know what they are and then they end up having to get married like so we see them get married in that book um and neither of them is like super happy about it but I want to see what happens to precious baby Ned he was wonderful in the first book like he really struggled with his mental health and I thought it was very like brave how that was shown so yeah I want to read this as well huh <sighs> Okay, so those are all the books on my TBR. So much for me trying to keep it short. But do remember, um, those are just like, a lot of them are just possible books that I get to because I'm a mood reader. So I like to be able to mood read up and down. So we'll see how it goes with those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, if you're interested in checking out the Patreon and all the exclusive videos there. I have, I believe, over 20 exclusive videos that you will get access to right away if you check it out. So definitely do that. And for sure, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I put up new videos three to four times a week. So we got lots of content for you there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye.